With your panel's dry fit and moved out of your way, you need to step back and review your application plan of attack. You could start with your hood, since it is an independent portion of the vehicle, or you could start on the side. I prefer to start on the rear of the vehicle, either side, and work my way forward. For our wrap, we've already completed the rear section of the vehicle, but let me point out a few things on the tail. One, make sure the bottom bumper is clean. Can't stress that enough, as a potential trouble spot for vinyl lifting. Two, don't try to stretch the material into a 90 degree curve, like here on the bumper. But you'd be surprised, you'll find these complex areas all over the wrap, even behind the door handle sometimes. This is where your planning during the design phase comes in handy. For our Uplander, we've printed additional pieces that were made for use in these tight spots. Our goal with a wrap is to never stretch vinyl. Putting any tension on any vinyl can cause failures. However, you know that sometimes you just have to stretch the vinyl, so plan for it. If you do have to stretch, or maybe you really want just a one-piece application, plan for it. Start with a larger surface area so your stretch is spread across a wider area. If you try to work toward the recessed area and then press the vinyl in, you're asking for trouble.